Hello, today I want to talk about creating a blend using acrylics and a Winsor & Newton slow drying acrylic medium. I'd like to talk about your surface quickly. The smoother it is, the better the blend. I'm going to use a canvas board to which I've added extra gesso and sand it to a fine finish. Also, how to deal with the challenge of blending with fast drying acrylic paints. In order to reduce the brush mark consistency and slow down the drying rate of the acrylic colour, I'm using Winsor & Newton's slow drying painting medium, an acrylic flow improver, which creates a fluid, smoother application. I'm also using a wide flat bending brush and a soft dry blending brush to reduce any brush marks. Now I'm going to mix a range of transparent and semi-transparent colours, from brown and yellow pigments, from a dark to light tonal range, avoiding black which could dull your colours. Start with the darkest tone raw umber, a semi-transparent pigment mixed with burnt umber which gives us a nice dark tone to begin with. Then complete your palette with semi-transparent burnt sienna, raw sienna, yellow ochre semi-transparent, and a transparent lemon yellow. Be sure to leave plenty of space between colours. Add a small amount of Winsor & Newton acrylic slow drying medium and a bit of flow improver if the medium is too thick. You'll need to work quickly and boldly, blending from chromatically darker colours to lighter tones. Remember it's important to keep your colours clean and move your brush in one direction like this. First, the raw umber burnt umber mix blending into the burnt sienna raw sienna then your yellow ochre adding clean medium as you go and finally lemon yellow You can soften adjacent colours with a drier synthetic brush, which you clean between each colour. To finish, you can delicately use a soft synthetic brush to dust the surface like this to take away the brush marks and smooth out your blend. I hope you found this video useful when choosing to work with fast drying acrylics. Mm -hmm.